So a few months ago, my son and I, we got these bicycle wall mounts. They're called the Hornet Clug. Uh, we both got bikes, and uh, you can get these in different colors. This one's pretty cool. It's orange. kind of matches his bicycle color. He's got an orange bike. I had this one mounted on the wall. Uh, you can see the anchors on the back of this. They're still mounted on here. Uh, the problem is they pulled out of the sheetrock uh, whenever he was pulling his bicycle off of this in order to take it out and go riding. So I decided to glue these scrap pieces of wood together and I think I'm going to use that and I'm going to end up mounting this on top of this wood pieces. Screw that wood piece to the wall. That way I can hit the studs and uh, not have an issue when he pulls the bike on and off of this club in the future. So recently I started making some cutting boards and I had these leftover pieces of hardwoods that I figured would make a pretty good uh, foundation in order to screw this club to. So I've got them all glued together and yeah, I probably used too much glue. So now I get to deal with that and I scrape off this glue, sand this board down. And then I've got to decide what I want to do with the edges. I want to make it look nice. Uh, I'm thinking about just uh, maybe just chamfering the front edge of this in order to give it a more of a modern feel. And I'm hoping this will look pretty nice once we get it mounted up on the wall and then mount this club up to it. So, should be something like that when I'm done. Well, I messed up. Thought I'd save myself a little bit of time and getting some of the glue off of here, so I sent it through the planer. When I did that, I noticed this glue joint came apart right here. So, I'm going to have to glue this back together before I can move further. So if you're not familiar with the bicycle clugs, this is mine right here on the wall. This is my bicycle. Um, so it just mounts to the wall and you can simply just put your front tire in it. Pull it out when you want to go riding. When you're done riding, you just bring it back, push your front tire into the plug, and that holds it against the wall. Now that I've got this sanded on both faces, I'm going to go ahead and run it over the router table and get a little bit of chamfer on the edge. I want to start with the bed a little bit lower than where I think I want it to be, and then see how that looks, and if I want to continue, then I'll raise the bed up a little bit and make another pass. But I didn't sand the edges yet because when I chamfer it, then I'll have to go back and sand the edges anyway. Well, my dust collector didn't appear to be working that time, but uh, it turns out that I had the wrong blast gate open. So if I open the right blast gate, uh, dust collector usually works a lot better. I did get a nice little chamfer around here, but I do think I want to go a little bit deeper and get a little bit wider chamfer around the edges of this board. I want to get it to where it's almost halfway down on here. So I'm going to raise the router bit up and we'll do it again. Now I think we got a pretty good chamfer on the edge of this board that I like and uh, we're going to go with that. So the next step I'm going to do is go ahead and sand this down. I want to sand it with a 80 grit, 120 and then get all the way up to 180 and then 220. Okay guys, so this is kind of frustrating. I was sanding this board, I got through the 80 grit, the 120. I was almost done sanding with the 180 and then this happened. Came apart right on one of the seams here, and this is the same seam that uh, I've already glued together twice. So for some reason, this board doesn't want to stay together right there between that walnut and the maple. So I guess I'm gonna have to go back to the gluing board. Okay, well, I got it glued back together. I waited overnight, and then when I was off camera, I went ahead and sanded it down, got all the glue off of it. Sanded it starting with 80, worked my way back up to 180 grit. After I got to 180 grit, then I went ahead and drilled my countersink holes so that I could mount this to the wall. I did that by measuring and finding the spacing between the supports that are inside the wall, and then measure these out and uh, just drilled them with the countersink bit all the way through. And then I sanded it again with 180, and I sanded it with uh, 220. 
Now, I think what I want to do is go ahead and raise the grain and pretend like this is a cutting board. I'll raise the grain and then sand it back down again. And then I'll probably uh, finish it off with some mineral oil and beeswax mixture. Now it's pretty well dry, so I'm going to go ahead and re-sand it. I'm just going to sand it with 220 grit and uh, get all these little burrs off the top and the bottom of this board. So Once I get this sanded down, then we'll go ahead and uh, coat it with some mineral oil and beeswax mixture. Well, I finally let it sit long enough to where I could buff off that final mixture of the beeswax and mineral oil. I did first use the mineral oil and then put the beeswax mineral oil mixture on here. I think it turned out pretty good. Now the next step is to go ahead and take it inside the house, mount this piece to the wall, and then I'll find the location for the clug that I need to mount it on here and get it screwed to this board. Okay, so here it is, uh, finally installed. What I did was I found the boards behind here and I used a level to get the top of the board where it needs to be, which is a little bit above this, and the bottom board is a little bit below this. So I got the four holes that I countersunk, I used screws, and just to run it through this board into the boards that are behind the sheetrock. And then I mounted the plug. It's got two screws that hold it onto the board here, and then that was it. That's all I got for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future content coming from my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Now I got a nice chamfer on the edge of these borders that I like. These borders. <laughs>